July 29th, 2022, Daily Bread. Passage, Isaiah chapter 30, verses 1 to 26. Key verse 18. Title, The Lord longs to be gracious to you. Woe to the obstinate children, declares the Lord, to those who carry out plans that are not mine, forming an alliance, but not by my spirit, heaping sin upon sin, who go down to Egypt without consulting me, who look for help to Pharaoh's protection, to Egypt's shade for refuge, but Pharaoh's protection will be to your shame. Egypt's shade will bring you disgrace. Though they have officials in Zoan, and their envoys have arrived in Hanes, everyone will be put to shame because of a people useless to them, who bring neither help nor advantage, but only shame and disgrace. A prophecy considering the animals of the Negev, through a land of hardship and distress, of lions and lionesses, of adders and darting snakes, the envoys carry their riches on donkey backs, the treasures on the humps of camels, to that unprofitable nation. To Egypt, whose help is utterly useless, therefore I call her Rahab the do-nothing. Now go, write it on a tablet for them, inscribe it on a scroll, that for the days to come it may be an everlasting witness. For these are rebellious people, deceitful children, children unwilling to listen to the Lord's instruction. They say to the seers, see no more visions, and to the prophets, give us no more visions of what is right. Tell us pleasant things, prophecy illusions. Leave this way, get off this path, and stop confronting us with the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, this is what the Holy One of Israel says, because you have rejected this message, relied on oppression, and dependent on deceit. The sin will become for you like a high wall, cracked and bulging, that collapses suddenly in an instant. It will break into pieces like pottery, scattered so mercilessly that among its pieces not a fragment will be found for taking coals from a hearth or scooping water out of a cistern. This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel, says, In repentance and rest is your salvation, in quietness and trust is your strength, but you would have none of it. You said, No, we will flee on horses, therefore you will flee. You said, We will ride off on switch horses, therefore your pursuers will be swift. A thousand will flee at the threat of one, at the threat of five you will all flee away, till you are left like a flagstaff on a mountaintop, like a banner on a hill. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you, therefore he will rise up to show you compassion, for the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. People of Zion, who live in Jerusalem, you will weep no more. How gracious he will be when you cry for help. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. Although the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, your teachers will be hidden no more. With your own eyes, you will see them. Rather, you turn to the left or to the right. Your ears will hear a voice behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it. Then you will desecrate your idols overlaid with silver and your images covered with gold. You will throw them away like menstrual cloth and say to them, Away with you. He will also send you rain for the seed you sow in the ground, and the food that comes from that land will be rich and plentiful. In that day your cattle will graze in the brown meadows. The oxen and donkeys that work the soil will eat fodder and mash, spread out with fork and shovel. In the day of great slaughter, when the towers fall, streams of water will flow on every high mountain and every lofty hill. The moon will shine like the sun, and the sunlight will be seven times brighter, like the light of seven full days, when the Lord binds up the bruises of his people and heals the wounds he inflicted. Daily Bread Message Judah hoped that a political alliance with Egypt would protect them from the Assyrians, but God repeatedly warned Judah that relying on Egypt was useless. Egypt would bring Judah disgrace and shame. The people of Judah should have listened to the Lord's instructions. However, they refused and demanded that the prophets tell them pleasant lies instead of the harder message of repentance. Therefore, their sin would become like a cracked and bulging wall that would suddenly collapse. Judah would be mercilessly scattered. Repentance would have brought salvation. Quietness and trust would have been their strength, but they rejected it. May our hearts receive the message of repentance that leads to life. God still longed to be gracious and to show compassion to the remnant. He promised no more weeping. 
adversity and affliction for their sins will be replaced with God's word and direction. God will bless their fields to produce rich and plentiful food. God would heal the wounds he inflicted. The Lord longs to be gracious and compassionate to us. Do not turn to the world for what only God can give you. Even in times of uncertainty or struggle, only God can give you salvation, strength, and joy. Prayer Lord, I repent of disobeying you. You alone are my salvation and strength. One word, repentance and rest is your salvation.